What's up guys and welcome to this video, it's going to be a Harvest Goodbird series on FIFA 13 Ultimate Team and this is going to be episode 4, uh, this is probably going to be one of the most expensive squads I ever do on FIFA 13, now one of the players is actually worth over 1 million coins so you know hopefully you guys may have already guessed it, uh, who it's going to be, it's going to be out of 2 players but I'm not going to try and spoil anything so far, um, this has probably been one of the funnest and most eye opening teams that I've been able to play with uh, on this game so far and I really really do think it's going to be a real insight uh, into you know a couple of teams that you guys might want to build if you do have the coins. Um, as you can see here in goal, we have got a spinion now. Um you know, to start off the team, when you're thinking this team's going to be over 1 million coins, you wouldn't really expect him to be the goalkeeper, but he is. Uh, he cost me 400 coins, and I have never, ever looked back. He is just absolutely fantastic. I'd quite happily pay around 20 to 30k for this guy. Um, he really, really is that good. He's got 81 diving, 79 handling, 77 kicking, 82 reflexes, and also 75 positioning. Um, honestly, guys, you know, like sometimes I may, you know, say a few things about players, and honestly, I'm... 100% being serious this guy is incredible now you know he may work he may not work for you but for me he is absolutely insane um, I may even try to get some you know goalkeeper saves or whatever to put in the goals at the end um, just so you guys can actually really see how good he is for me so um, let's move on to the first centre back now and see here we have got Pereira now he's actually since transferred to the Liga MX league uh, coming from Atletico Madrid in the Liga BVA. Um, he's still got pretty much the same stats as last year. He's got 82 pace, 77 defending, and also 79 heading. So he's a really, really pacey player, um, especially for a centre back that is really good. And he only cost me, as you can see here, 1.2k in a 4-4-2 formation, which in my opinion is very, very good indeed. So the second centre back now, as you can see here, is going to be Mosquera. Uh, now he's got 63 pace, 60 passing, 62 dribbling, 76 defending, and also 77 heading. Really, really good player. Um, and for 400 coins, well, 500 coins, you can't really go wrong. Obviously, he's not as good as Pereira, uh, but he does the job and is very good doing it. So the left back now, as you can see here, I'm just going to change the formation to 4-4-2 so I don't spoil any other videos of mine that I may be doing. But the left back is going to be Fabio Coentrao. Uh, he's got 82 pace, 74 passing, 80 dribbling, 78 defending, and also 71 heading. Now, this guy is amazing. Um, the only bad thing I can say about him is he kind of feels like a left winger. Uh, he gets far too forward um, and kind of does open up the defence when the players are actually attacking from the other team. Um, so that is one way that you can actually concede goals very, very easily using this player. So it might be a little option to actually try and use Marcelo or some other left back from the Liga BVA as long as they get nine chemistry. So, um, the right back now as you can see here is going to be Danilo uh, used him in one of my skill teams that I've actually got going at the moment I'm not going to do a video on it because it is all Brazilian players but he is really really, really worth the price he cost me 2.7k uh, he's got 86 pace uh, 72 shooting 77 passing 80 dribbling 76 defending and also 66 heading really really good player and I would recommend him if you have got the coins so let's check out the first head in mid now as you can see here we have got this guy Quintero now a lot of sort of speculation whether I should use him in this team as a centre mid because obviously he is a default centre forward. Um, I don't really like changing players, their positions too much. Um, but I feel with Quintero, especially in this formation, it allows him to get a lot more forward um, than he usually would. And I think obviously probably well, he probably does have like a high attacking work rate. I don't know if it will show it here um, or not. No, it doesn't. But... Um, you know, I just generally think he plays very, very well at centre mid, and you guys might disagree with me, but um, personally for me, he's played absolutely insane uh, for me here, and he cost me 32,500 coins. He's got five star skills and four star weak foot. He's five foot five as well, so he's pretty small, but he does have an absolutely lethal shot and is really, really worth the coins, in my opinion. So let's check out the second centre mid now and see here. We have got. Arias. Now, um, you're probably all thinking, oh, well, have you got a 69 rare card in your team, and you know, non rare shiny. Honestly, this guy um, is just, you know, standard. Like, he's not anything special. He's not anything amazing. But the game that I last played with him, um, I didn't actually record it because I've already got the goals for this video so far. Um, he actually scored two goals. And it just shows that, you know, you don't really have to have the most amazing players in the world to actually score goals and actually have uh, a good team. And this guy, you know, even though it only says, like, 63 passing, he can pass the ball. You know, he can pass the balls around the pitch and do just fine. You know, he does um, the job, and that is really what is there to be done. So, uh, let's check out the right mid now and see here. We have got Kelvin now. A lot of people wanted to see him in a squad builder. I know there was a comment from someone. Um, I may even put it on the screen right now. Saying from someone, I can use Kelvin from FC Porto in one of your next hybrid squad builder videos. Now, 
Um, he cost me, as you can see here, 51,500 coins. He's got five star skill moves and three star weak foot, and also left footed, so he can actually cut in from the right hand side and shoot with his left foot. Um, this guy has the most powerful silver player shot that I have ever used within this game so far. It is insane. It really, really is incredible, um, and is a real eye opener to you know really think silvers are actually just as good as they were in FIFA 12. You know, a lot of people were saying, oh, you know, FIFA 12. Uh, I mean, FIFA 13 and silvers are going to be crap. So bronzes. It it really isn't the case on Ultimate Team. Whole thing changes. It's all really based on morale, chemistry, and fitness. And when you have good chemistry and fitness and morale, you know, you're going to be flying away of these silvers. So I really do recommend him. But, um, you know, just a really good player. Sometimes he can, like in pace, but, you know, overall, a good player. And I think you guys should go out and buy him. So. Um, you've probably all guessed, all guessed the left mid now, but it's going to be the almighty Cristiano Ronaldo. Um, now, he's got 92 pace, 90 shooting, 80 passing, 92 dribbling, and also 87 heading. Um, this guy has just been an, a, an amazing player to use. Uh, he's got faster skills and four-star weak foot. He is just insane. Um, honestly, like a massive eye-opener eye to use. Uh, just, you know, he is... A game changer. He plays it very, very well on this team, um, and just absolutely destroys defenses. You will see in the goals at the end how good he really is. And I'm actually going to bring out a player of you. Um, so if this video can get like a a good support or good amount of likes or a good show um, of like uh, you know showing that you guys really want to see the player of you of him, it is done already. So if you guys want to see it, then put it in the comment section below. Um, if this video does you know does well, I will put it up later today. Obviously, this video is going to be going out about 12 p.m. Um, sorry, 12 well midday GMT uh, in England time so um, yeah if you guys want to see that put it you know in the comment section below and I'll be able to sort of get your vibes from that so uh, let's check out the first drug and now as you can see here we have got Elkerson now he's actually missing a contract so I will actually put one on him now but he's just a very very standard player he's got five star skills and also four star weak foot really really lethal shot and you will see he does do a couple of good skill runs in the goals at the end um, overall really really good player um, and you know it's just uh, good for his price basically he's not anything amazing but he does the job very well so let's check out the final player in this team as you can see here we have got Wallison now this guy is insane honestly my favourite silver on the game so far um, and probably for me my favourite player on the game so far he's just got a really really powerful shot 68 shooting that doesn't say anything he scored many a goals for me um, you know both finesse and power he's got 88 pace which is just, just destroys defences um, also has 5 star skills and 3 star weak foot cost me 49,750 coins back when the web up was just up and not the early release uh, or the FIFA 13 hard copy edition um, so you know he is actually going for about over 100k now so you guys might have a bit of trouble actually affording him if you don't have the coins but um, honestly if you do have the coins definitely get him uh, even if you don't really have that many it is an incentive to trade to because he is just so good but that's going to be the end of the video this is kind of like a hybrid skill squad builder so that may be the title um, um, I've tried to do as many skill goals as I can in the co in the goals at the end so that you guys will be able to get an incentive and sort of see how um, you know well these players perform skills in the game and stuff like that so um, that's going to be it this video actually can actually contains around five uh, five star skillers I think that is right yeah five um, and you know they're all really really good and I would recommend buying this team so this whole team probably costs around 1.3 million coins I guess um, you know Ronaldo is about 1.1 and then the rest of the players probably equal up to about 200k uh, right now but that's going to be the end of the video if you have enjoyed it guys then please do drop a like let me know whether you want to see that Cristiano Ronaldo player review it would be good to see how many people want to see it other than that thanks for watching have a nice day and peace